Earlier this year, the library began offering a new type of resource, board games. One of my favorites here to tell us more about this new activity at the library is Stephanie Smith. Welcome back. We're talking about something that's a favorite of mine, but why did you decide to bring board games to the library? We know libraries across the country are offering a lot of non-traditional items now for the public. Um, so some libraries lend out gardening tools, musical instruments, yoga mats. Um, we decided to go with board games because we really want people to be able to connect. Um, over our resources. All right, so libraries. Typically, you're supposed to be quiet in a library. Mm -hmm. If we're playing Monopoly or something, I'm going to get a little. I'm going to get a little excited. Is there a designated space to be doing this? Well, you know, we do have spaces in our libraries, but the great thing about the board games is you can get loud um, at your own house with the board games because you're able to check these out and take them home for seven days. Very cool. And, you know, li oh, not libraries, board games themselves, mm -hmm. they kind of have their own storyline. So how does this fit within the library's mission? You know, again, this is all about um, discovering and learning and you discover new games that you like. Um, this is also about skills or social skills involved with board games. We were talking about how you get very competitive. Yes. <laughs> um, so even though these board games are geared toward adults, they're all family friendly. So you can play with your kids and, and teach them lessons about sportsmanship and, and uh, sort of social maturity and how to be a good loser. Um, so even though they're fun, no. there's a <laughs> You can check them out and you can work on those skills too. Yes, we're um, going to have to work on that. Yes. But, but there's a lot involved with the board games. In addition to just having fun and really connecting with people in a way that doesn't involve a screen or a device, putting all those things away and really connecting with each other. You make me feel bad. I want to trade this out now. <laughs> so, so when it comes to these board games, I'm not as familiar with these titles. You have a mix of old and new? We do. We have, um, when we first started the program around the beginning of the year, we started with over 60 different titles. And we've been expanding that ever since because this has been so popular amongst the public. So you can go to our catalog and just put in the term board games and it pulls up the entire list of what we have. So this is not solely for the summer. This is all year round. This is all year round throughout the system. So we have five different locations that sort of opted in to house the board games. But the good news is, again, you can place these on hold and have them shipped to your library location and pick them up, take them home and have fun. How long can you have them for? Seven days. Yes. Anything? I'm. Um, we got Rock the Plaza tonight. As long Two. as Joe. Time to start. Six. Six. Ooh, yeah. It's a little iffy, yeah. but who is on tap to be playing? You know, we have so many great bands. You go to our website. <laughs> check it out. Our <laughs> That's okay. Page. You guys have events all the time, so it's hard we to keep do. track of and everything. Have, you know, we have four different great bands every single week, and so whatever you like, there's something that you're going to find that, that appeals to your musical taste. And there's Python Slice. There's Pint and Slice, our <laughs> official food sponsor of Rock the Plaza. Yeah. Stephanie, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Find out more by visiting Allen County Public Library's website at acpl.info and searching in the library's catalog for board games or call 260-421-1200. You can watch this interview again later today on our website, wayne.com.